Well, it's really tough to compete with these uh, fantastic <laughs> images. But uh, I'm going to report a snapshot of the first observations we have of the radiation environment on the surface of another planet, which in itself I think is quite remarkable. Uh, interestingly, interestingly enough, yesterday was the 100-year anniversary of the, of the discovery of uh, galactic cosmic rays on Earth by Victor Hess uh, with his hot air balloon uh, in eastern Germany. And exactly 100 years later, yesterday, we make the first measurements or characterize the first measurements of galactic cosmic rays and the rest of the radiation spectrum uh, from the surface of, of Mars. So if we have the next slide, uh, this shows basically zooming in on, on the top deck of the rover, uh, showing where the, the RAD window is. Radiation assessment detector, or RAD, uh, field of view is defined for the charged particle channel by this, this window, and that points towards the zenith. And so we uh, characterize and measure uh, charged particle radiation coming in from the atmosphere, um, <clears throat> as well as neutral particle radiation, neutrons and gamma rays. And a lot, we've learned a lot since uh, in the last 100 years since the measurements of, of Victor Hess. Uh, we know that, if you'll show the next slide, that um, the two types of radiation in space, the galactic cosmic rays and solar energetic particles, are uh, driven in a large part by the sun. They go with the solar cycle. And uh, it's actually a very interesting time because uh, the entire nominal mission surface operations will be right around solar maximum. You can see the data uh, in white and the, the prediction of the solar cycle in red. So we'll have an opportunity to, to really get a good characterization of, of both uh, the galactic cosmic ray background, which is what Victor Hess measured 100 years ago, but also the solar energetic particles as they occur uh, in solar particle events as a result of flares or, or solar storms um, on the sun. <clears throat> so if you, if you take a look at this uh, profile, this is basically sunspot number as a function of the solar cycle. Galactic cosmic rays vary on an 11-year cycle. Uh, solar energetic particles are episodic. They, they happen on a scale of uh, hours to days, and they can be very intense. Um, the first measurements we had yesterday, the sun was very quiet in the location of, of, of Mars. Um, so the, the measurements we have are pretty much uh, primarily galactic cosmic rays. But if you show the next slide, this is really just a snapshot of, of pretty close to the raw data that we, that we um, observed with RAD uh, from the surface. So there's a couple of things to note. This was a, a three and a half hour observation with about one minute time resolution or one, one observation, one frame per minute of, of, of data uh, storage. And the, this is really a plot of, of dose rate in arbitrary units because we haven't, well, first of all, the, the, the mass hadn't been deployed yet. So we, uh, the mass was partially obstructing our field of view. Uh, secondly, we haven't corrected for the RTG background, uh, nor have we done a correction for uh, the silicon and our plastic uh, detectors. We have two different types of detectors on RAD. So these are really arbitrary units, but we have put, just for reference, the average uh, dose rate that we observed uh, in, during cruise, uh, we had seven and a little over seven months of observations during cruise to, to characterize RAD and get a very good baseline uh, in deep space. And now we are starting to take our measurements on the surface to, uh, to characterize the radiation environment on the surface. So although this is a, a quiet time on, on, on the surface of Mars, there's really uh, not a large contribution from solar energetic particles. Uh, you can see that the spikes in those in, in, that, in that plot are, are really individual heavy ion hits um, on the detectors. And it's, and it's actually the contribution from these heavy ions that, that are the biggest effect for biological organisms, whether it be uh, microbial life on Mars or astronauts on future missions to Mars. And so uh, what we will achieve with RAD over the next uh, days, months, and, and years will be to characterize and accumulate the, the statistics and also to gather uh, energy spectra of, of each of these heavy ion events. Basically, we record, as I mentioned, we record the spectra of, of 26 different charged particles. So we're going to accumulate spectra, uh, energy spectra from each one of these uh, 26 different 
uh, charged particles so that we can understand and characterize uh, their contribution uh, to the radiation dose on the surface, as well as the contribution from neutrons. So this is really a, just a snapshot, but uh, <clears throat> we, we do see the, 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 you know, the exciting uh, elements of what we're going to be collecting and accumulating uh, over the next uh, months and years as, as we go continue on with our nominal mission. So um, stay tuned for, for, for uh, future results.